A mate in Singapore will be getting home visits from the Manpower Ministry officials. About 200 visits will be done at random each month for now. Employers who refuse a visit will be issued letters to take their maids to the ministry for an interview. It's all part of measures to improve the care of foreign domestic workers. It also comes after a recent high-profile case of a Myanmar maid who died from abuse by her employer. Nisha Rahim reports. These officers are taking a few minutes to make sure everything's all right with this maid at home. They'll see if she's settling in well and if her work and living conditions are fine. And just in case, they will also let her know where to get help. The Manpower Ministry aims to conduct 200 such random house visits monthly for a start this year. This started three weeks ago. Since uh, the start of this uh, house visit, we have actually done about 100, about 100 of them. So what we've seen is, for example, there could be some misunderstanding sometimes. So there was a particular case uh, where the domestic workers highlighted that the employers uh, were maybe scolding her uh, in a harsh manner. Uh, but at the same time, the employers did also praise her uh, when she did well. So when we came across such co uh, concern, uh, we actually uh, talked to the employers, resolved the misunderstanding. Employers will be told of these visits, but not at the exact date. They can be around when the checks are done, but officers should be left to do their job. We do not stop the employer from listening in, but what we want is the employer not to interfere uh, when we are engaging the, 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 FD, uh, the migrant domestic worker. Yeah, and if we see that the employer presence is affecting the domestic worker, we may then request for the employers to maybe step aside. Or if necessary, we may ask the domestic worker to maybe come out of the house for us to, to engage her. And the Manpower Ministry will continue to intensify its efforts and will work with the Centre for Domestic Employees to expand in-person interviews to cover all first-time workers by the end of the year. Now, for a start, the centre aims to interview 2,000 workers per month. The centre, located in the Peninsula Plaza, will start making appointments with them from the middle of this year. Uh, we have already have enough uh, and sufficient staff to help us conduct the uh, interview in person uh, with the native language of the migrant work, uh, domestic workers so that we are able to actually make them feel at ease and give them the conducive environment to share with us any issue that they face. These face-to-face -face chats are part of wider efforts to show up care for its migrant and domestic workers. MOM says it will continue to review and improve its measures.